because that's what it's they said. Normally, of course, guys, you need to clean up. Atin na kayo kilig. <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jo. Um, before we, we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will be notified on my next and more coming video. Guys, for today's video, I would like to share to you um, an effective cream, I mean an, an effective ointment that I've been using for how many years with me when I experienced some cracked skin, dry skin, um, anything guys. Um, we will be doing unboxing first before I'm going to show to you or to tell you the the ingredients or component of this ointment. Okay, the, the ointment that I am referring is made in Japan, I think so. It says here, o Oronin H ointment. Oronin. I think this is Oronin. Oronin ointment. Kita ba? Oronin ointment. And then the price is... Wait, reverse. I bought this around 68 Hong Kong dollar. 68. In Philippine peso. Philippine peso, I think. It costs around... Let me see. Times 6. Around 400 peso. I don't know if we have this in the Philippines, but guys, this is really effective uh, ointment that I've been using for a long time. Since I'm a dry skin type, and mostly most of the time my skin is cracking dry, and I experience al also crack heels, and even my hands are getting dry also. And then now, before before we start, let's do the unboxing first. I'll show to you here. I already gave you the price. The weight is, I mean, it has 100 grams. It says here 100 grams. And then it it is made in Japan. Um, pharmaceutical Otsuka. Um, 115 Kuguhara Muyacho Naruto Tokishima, Japan. Hi, harigato. <laughs> Harigato. <laughs> I don't know what harigato, but I only said harigato. And it also says here it has um expiry date and lot number. It will be expired on November 2022. And the lot number is 8K81N. And then let me read to you the, the composition. Uh, for, wait, first I'll show you the how, how does it look like. It looks like this. Here, yan. Otsuka Seiyaku Oronin, Oronin Ointment. Okay, let's read the composition. It says here, 20% Chlorhexidine Gloconate Solution 1% And then Hydropilic Ointment Base is 99. 99% Kita ba? Can you see it? Wait ha? I'll focus on the camera. <laughs> Ito, ganun, ganun pa. See? But it says here, hydropilic ointment base, 99%. Indications. It says here, it's good for acne, eruptions, minor burns, chopped skin, chib, chill, chill blains. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Huh? Chill blains, minor cuts, dry athlete's foot, and ringworm. It says here, dosage. Rub into the affected part twice or three times day 
a day until white color disappears. Depending on the symptoms, apply ointment with goes absorbent cotton or with a clean fingertips directly to the affected part. Slow below, a store below 30% degree Celsius for external use only. So when I open it, it has manual here. Although it is written in Japan at the back, they also have um, translation in English. Okay, let, let us read the English version for this. It is good for treatment of acne eruption. Gently apply a small amount of orinone ointment to the affected areas with a fingertip wipe and excess with a soft cloth or a piece. A piece goes. Ghost, gaze, whatever whatever you call it. Gaze. And then set number two for treatment of minor cuts. Abrasion or puncture wounds. After cleaning the wounds thoroughly, apply an appropriate amount of oronin etch ointment. Oronin etch ointment serves as distinct the wound and prevent infection. And then third, for treatment of minor minor burns, apply an appropriate amount. And then Basta yun na guys, um, anyway you can read this kasi may manual naman sila, they have manual, you can read it and it's in English version. And then, uh, what do you call this? I was like interested, um, tawag nun? I was like thinking, what, why it is, why it is, um, 99 more of the more most of the the ointment contains hydropilic ointment base okay let's see what is hydropilic ointment base it says here hydropilic ointment base is a traditional oil water emulsion containing petrolatum and propylene glycol it is easy to spread and water washable. Hydropilic ointment base can accept some water to create a thinner base for compounding topical lotion preparation. Okay. So it means to say, parang ano siya, water friendly. You can just wash it away by water. And, and then it says here, what is hydropilic ointment used for? Hydropilic ointment is an effective moisturizer that helps to restore and protect very dry, damaged skin. This fragrance-free, yes, it's true, emollient-based cream helps soften and smooth areas with pre petrolatum. Yes, this is also true, and it's really effective, guys. Effective po talaga siya. If you are here in Hong Kong and if you want to buy this, you can buy this. Um, I think you can found, find this in one of the dispensary here in Hong Kong and then what else an occlusive moisturizing ingredient which helps to attract and retain moisture in the skin okay based on my experience um, after taking a bath like now right I just took a bath uh, before going to bed I just wash my body or my my hair including my hair my face after that, even on my hands, guys, naglalagay po din ako. I'm also putting it, putting it on my hands and on my feet here. Yung mga aking dry crack skin on my foot. My foot. Kasi may alifu nga. <laughs> Joke lang. And then, may mga ano din po ako. Mga skin issues sa paa. The dry skin kasi. As we age, you know, dry skin attacks. That's really the sickness when you're getting old. So we need more. Aside from collagen, we also need an ointment base, which is hydrophilic ointment base. And then what type of ointment base is? It says here, what type type of ointment base is called cream? Ah, disregard. Okay. So, and then... Experience ko guys, after using this at night, I put more on my feet, my on my toes, and on the affected area, the crack heels. After that, in the morning, when I woke up, of course, I don't wear socks because I feel uncom uncomfortable wearing socks. So I just 
ano, cover my feet with blanket, with kilt, you know, the, the, the thick kilt. And then afterwards in the morning when I woke up, the ointment was already absorbed on my my foot or feet or on my dry skin and then when i check on my 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 cracked skin here on my foot di na siya ganun ka crack it doesn't look cracked anymore and then once you apply it once or twice you apply it you can already see the difference that it's already you know curing and also one time when i was cooking natalsikan ako then i put on some some of this ointment kasi nga um, I made a small burn and then this really guys help and it sh we should also have to have this on our um, health ano, ano ba tawag? beauty regimen also um, not only for and it's also good for like um, tawag nun uh first aid kit this is also good for first aid kit because sometimes we cannot avoid that we will be having minor cuts or minor burns in our houses or or what else um, mga, mga acne like some younger dudes and dudettes um with same age with my daughter 14 you this is also good for acne guys suffering from acne acne dry skin burn uh, it also says here for treatment for ringworm okay ringworm or if you have skin problem like you have ringworm and bad it says here also chop skin yeah so i mean to say this is really good guys for having a skin problem it also says here good for athlete's foot athlete's foot oh nice for treatment of athlete's foot athlete's foot apply an appropriate amount of or oronin etch ointment to the affected areas after batting to ensure maximum effectiveness apply onion every day also if you have athlete athlete's foot you need to apply this every day until your athlete's foot is gone and then it, also including ringworm guys apply it also when in a clean skin always guys have um tip for today every time we we have some skin issues skin problem we need to wash our skin first or clean up our skin first before we apply anything anything beauty cream ointment whatever we need to clean up first our skin before applying it because that's what it's they said normally of course guys we need to clean up <laughs> just bear with me guys i'm sorry with my look for you know for, for i'm getting ready to bed oh, i'm going to sleep but then before i got go to sleep i was thinking to do blog to share to you my secret one of my secret on beauty not only beauty regimen but health benefit uh health regimen char on ano bang tawag dito health regimen is that you know okay guys i hope um i have i have sh i have shared something good to you today and i hope you learned something from me yun lang naman po ang gusto ko that's the only thing i wanted that my viewers would benefit from me whatever i share and I hope you enjoy and please share if you'd like my videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you will be notified on my next and more coming video. And oops guys, don't forget to ring that bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. My bell. Ding dong. Ding dong. <laughs> okay guys, I think that's it. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye.